Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into your full moon energy reading for January 25th. Now this month's full moon is in the fire sign of Leo. And fire energy is all about passion. It's all about creativity. So this month, I challenge you to look inward into your heart's desire, your truest heart's desire, what it is that you desired, maybe even as a child. What did you feel that you could accomplish then? What did you enjoy? This full moon, I challenge all my friends here on the channel to get back to that childlike essence. What's one thing you wanted as a child, big or small, and do it? Get that bed you always wanted, buy that toy, that car, make that move. If you can't, what's blocking the path? And how can you remove the obstacle in the way? For me, something I've always wanted to acquire, accomplish, was the specific bed that I wanted as a little girl. I wanted a canopy bed. It just, you know, when you're a little girl, that's what makes a girl feel like that societal norm of a princess. So this year I've decided to create space and I'm not prepared yet to do so, but I'm going to get a canopy bed. So what does that entail? That entails me moving around some things, creating the space for the bed before I go out and purchase the bed that I want so I know how big it can be, so I know the room that I have, so I can figure out the dimensions and I don't get too much or too little. What will your desire be? What will your childhood dream be fulfilled through this energy? So in these full moon readings, I tap into the energy surrounding you. I look at what's challenging you through this energy. We'll look at how to correct or shift the energy, maybe even release if that's what needs to be released. We'll look at the outcome if action is taken and the outcome if no action is taken. Now, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And if you find the messages helpful or resonate, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So let's dive into the messages. So let's dive right into Pisces energy for this upcoming full moon and see what it is that Pisces needs to see through this energy. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What do my Piscean friends need to know? What do they need to see through this full moon energy? Please and thank you. Seven of Wands is a boundary setting card. So Pisces, there's somebody here that you're seeing the truth, looking at the situation very clearly, very practically, and setting boundaries with this person. Now, I'm not necessarily cutting this person off. You see, we have the King and Queen of Swords, but it's like you're looking at, you're cutting through the BS. You're looking at the situation very straightforward, very practically. And in that sense, able to move forward. Now, the energy surrounding you, the Eight of Pentacles, this is like putting in the work, putting in the time, putting in the effort, trying to make it work. But I honestly feel here, Pisces, there's something here that just isn't working. And you can try to fit a square into a circle if you'd like, but it's nearly impossible to do so. I definitely feel like this person has been causing a lot of disruptions in your life. And even though it is a very back and forth energy, it's like you hold on to this. How to transmute this energy, Pisces. I feel like there's a need to free yourself from this particular energy. Now, whether this is a toxic friendship, a toxic relationship, this devil energy is coming out in the position if no action is taken. So let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces energy, please and thank you. Eight 
Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. That back and forth energy. They come in hot and heavy. And the same energy, they're out. Okay. In turn, Pisces, it's like you're holding on to a grudge with this person because they're always coming in and trying to cause disruptions. And I feel here for you, Pisces, it's almost like you're at a point where enough is enough. But I feel like for some of you, there's still an energy of one more try. One more try. If they showed up in a certain type of energy, then I would give this person one more try. And when you're ready to walk away, you will walk away. I will say that. But I definitely feel like there is a need to start making space in your life for new opportunities, new endeavors coming in. And majority of you already know that this is what needs to happen. You're just not sure. Like you're, there's a lot of uncertainty. Like what if, a lot of questioning. What if I leave this person and I don't find something better? If it isn't this, it has to be something better. You declare that in your life. Your thoughts and your words have power. Okay. Now, if you stay with this person, you stay and endure and continue down this path, you get more of the same energy. It's doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Just the definition of insanity. But what I will say is when you are ready to move forward, when you are ready to move on from this, when this person has hurt you enough and you have nothing left to give, you will end this. But you won't walk away, Pisces, until you're ready. So let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Knight of Pentacles, the Strength, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. You see, Pisces, there is still an energy of one more try. But again, when you're ready to walk away, you will no longer hold on to this. When you're ready and you come to terms with what's on the other side is better than what you're getting right now, that's when the tides will turn. You're on the verge of that. Some of you are getting ready to move forward. When you do get there, you want to stay focused on the new things coming in, the new feelings that you're feeling, and not resorting back to the old energy. Let's pull a moon manifestation oracle. Some of your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support message. So this card talks about this being a divinely guided message, a message from spirit. Maybe someone will text you something nice or you'll find out something in a phone call. Perhaps a letter will come in the mail or maybe spirit will send a sign through nature. Regardless of what you ask, you will soon know your answer. A message is coming. Get ready and pay attention. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.